Yeah, if you, if you think about it, the federal government is spending somewhere in the neighborhood of $80 billion per year. And if you were to do an analysis of all of the servers that are owned and operated by the federal government, my guess is that what, that what you'll find is a big percentage of those are running at 10 or 15 or 20 percent capacity. And really what you want to do is try to move that up to 70 or 80 percent utilization. Sure, you need a little bit of headroom for spikes, um, but if you can get the utilization up to 70 or 80 percent, then what that means is that you need far fewer servers and therefore the cost is going to go down significantly in terms of the annual federal IT budget. If you think about um, behind the wa firewall or desktop installed, so installed software, the problem that you have is making sure that that software can be installed in the first place. And most cloud computing platforms and applications are browser enabled and browser consumed. And so as long as the browser can be configured, then you can pretty much adopt and embrace any cloud computing capability almost uh, instantly and matter-of-factly. And so you, know, you hear about like, these, these federal uh, computer configuration standards that you know, it's apparently very challenging to get an app installed locally. As long as the app comes from the cloud, runs through the browser, you can experiment and try it out almost immediately. Yeah, I think you're going to see um, all sorts of collaboration in really two big areas when the government is using the cloud platform more pervasively. First and foremost, you're going to break down a lot of the stovetop silos between the agencies. And so if they're all basically multi-tenant, co-tenants in the cloud itself, it's going to be easier for them to share data with each other, share services with each other, share best practices with each other. And then, uh, I, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, there's, there's three benefits. This, the second big one is there's going to be a lot more collaboration between the government and the citizenry. So just in terms of engagement and feedback and a kind of a bi-directional way for the government to share information and processes with the people but also get the best practices and processes from the people back into the government. So I think that's th those are the, the two big kind of philosophical benefits and then the, th the third one would, would just simply be the cost savings. I, I think you are going to be able to see pretty significant reductions in the IT budget once most of the um, applications and platforms are consumed from the cloud. Uh, what, what we're seeing is um, government organizations are making their best effort to put data online. And we certainly applaud that. But really what we want to see is using data as the hub for a social discourse between an agency or a local government and the people it represents. And so really what we've been focusing on for the last couple of years is, is making this platform that allows for social enrichment of data. And so um, you take kind of a, a, a time progression example. An agency might put a raw data set online and then some people come in and start commenting on that data set. The people who come in after that benefit from the comments that those earlier people left. Then somebody comes along and creates some different sortations and filters and views of that data. Then some other people come along and they benefit from those filters being there. And so it's aiding in the comprehension. And then, you know, kind of going two steps further, somebody might visualize the data and then people who come in after the data has been visualized can benefit by there already being a chart or already being a map. And then finally, the kind of bringing it all full circle is the agencies themselves benefit by seeing how people are interacting with the data and how they're interpreting it and how they're using it and can then take those as clues to improve the data over the long run.